So, I saw a video from the same guy I reviewed last time, and his video is Believing in a God, a Delusion. Let me share my thoughts before we, be before we begin his video. I don't think believing anything is delusional. It's not what you believe, it's why you believe it. Your justification for believing in something, whatever you're believing in. It's about the justification for believing in something. Being able to get some type of verification and evidential data when professing one's beliefs to help with being able to more or less survive long term and convince most people who have some understanding of basic epistemology. As long as you're not going around trying to get others to believe like you based on false information and, and false pretenses and try, try to change the rules and laws around you based on your unjustifiable beliefs or scam people out of their hard earned money, that's fine. I'm okay with it. Positive consequences that flow from that it may suggest that there really is a God. Listen, just because people attribute nice feelings uh, and believing in something doesn't make it true. Hi folks, Barack Lurie on the Barack Lurie channel. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, this is your friendly neighborhood executive like homeless minister here responding to your poor quality of a video, let alone execution. Today you hear a lot about people claiming that believing in God is a delusion. In fact, there is a title of a book called The God Delusion. But indeed, is it a delusion? Let's talk about delusions first of all and see about whether or not they're actually healthy. If you have if the justification for believing in such a thing is unfalsifiable and unprovable in conventional means, then in a general sense, we tend to call people who believe in things they can't prove delusional. We tend to call people who believe in things they have absolutely no way to prove while insisting it's true as well delusional. And who said that she was the Queen of England, and she's not the Queen of England, you would say that's not very healthy for you. Bad things are going to happen to her in terms of not being able to work, in terms of not being able to have relationships, uh, or a family for that matter. It's unhealthy. Like yes, it is unhealthy. And it's easy to prove that person's delusion wrong because of the easily available evidence. Likewise, if someone thought that he still had a job that he doesn't have, he's been fired a long time ago, uh, he's not moving on with his life, and that's, in a way, unhealthy for him as well. Or a guy thinks that uh, he's still with his girlfriend, and he's chasing her and even stalking her. That's not healthy for him, nor for her. They both need to move on. These are delusions. We all understand that, right? Yes, because of the Avengers. Sorry, my script said Avengers instead of available evidence. Yet people call believing in God a delusion. Most people who do that are more or less wrong, or trying to say the justification for said beliefs isn't aligned with known reality in the slightest, despite trying so hard to fit his beliefs and worldview into about reality, even the stuff that contradicts their own beliefs. But this particular delusion is an interesting one, isn't it? So you're admitting that your justification for believing in a God is delusional? Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting you to be so upfront and honest with us. It's the last time I talked about one of your videos. We're completely dishonest and spreading misinformation about atheism. This is interesting. Let's see where this leads. Because it turns out that by believing in God, a great number of wonderful things happen, right? You have a sense of purpose. You're... What, you don't think you can have a purpose in your life if you're not a believer in a God? No reason for that. You have no evidence of this whatsoever. So, in a, se in a sense, the statement you are more or less saying is delusional. Health seems to improve quite a bit. And believing in- It's called a placebo effect. I don't really think I need to explain it further than that. Believing in God, you end up having a stronger family. You keep making assertions without being able to back it up. There's plenty of knowledge people who don't believe in a God, who have amazing family lives and strong family bonds. You're less engaged in the issues of worry and fear. Because now you're finally thinking that a God will protect you, that you are special, even though none of us are. You are not obsessed with drugs or alcohol. I think this guy might be an alien who's never been anywhere on the planet before, with humans at least. Do you know how many believers in some type of God or addicted to some type of drug, like alcohol or coffee or meth or weed? There's an enormous amount of uh, things we classify as drugs that there's an enormous amount of people who are believers in God are addicted to. Hell, technically speaking, you could become an addict with anything, like religious addicts, which is a thing. People being addicted to their religious ideology, 
or the church or something. Man, this black guy doesn't seem to know humans well. And I'm not even saying his name right. Like, are more likely that you won't engage in crime, for example. I'm not even going to address the whole majority of the U.S. prison population, like 97% or something like that, that's religious, and most of which believe in some type of God. Like Yahweh from the Bible, Torah, and the Quran, before they even enter the gates of the prison. Was this man designed at a lab for any data of humanity at all? A lot of positive things flow from a belief, a sincere belief, in God, in going to- and A lot of harm has happened, and is currently happening, and will continue to happen in the near future because of it. There are Christians right now in Africa killing children because witches aren't allowed to live, according to the Holy Bible. There are people bombing abortion clinics because, you know, and that's just one of a hundred thousand examples I can just give alone. Church or synagogue, as the case may be. These are healthy things. What's not healthy is a belief in something that doesn't exist. So if you You're right. Now prove your God. It's not the belief, you dumbass. It's about the justification for said beliefs. You believe that elephants are about to give all sorts of gifts to you from the sky. That's not healthy. It's not living in a world of reality. And, and that's the question. If you accuse somebody of believing in God as believing in a delusion, you have to ask yourself, is this delusion the same as all the other delusions we talked about? I put it to you that they're not at all the same. To believe in God with all the positive consequences that flow from that it may suggest that there really is a God. No, it doesn't. Because many meth addicts enjoy the sensation of getting high off meth doesn't mean it's good for them or anyone really. Nor should it, nor should it be justification that a meth God exists. What you're saying is poor kindergarten logic. That makes no sense when you actually apply the real world to what is being said here, being said by this man. That fulfills our sense of purpose, our sense of meaning. You mean false hope and delusional thinking, which can cause bad things to happen. In a world where we need that meaning, where we have that sense of ambition, that sense of making the world a better place. Without God, we don't have that sense. At least logically, we don't. No, you fucking don't, you arrogant piece of shit. You keep trying to base this on emotions, and the facts that you stated are not facts. They're opinions. They're fictions. Made up by you. And I know lazy. I chose this video because it's shorter than the other videos I have saved from you and other people that I'll probably be doing another time. So I put it to you. Perhaps not believing in God is the real delusion. Wow, what a huge fucking leap. Do you have any justification for this? Atheism is not a delusion, because delusions basically are a denial of reality in the face of contradictory evidence. There's really no evidence of a God that you can really point to that can be verified and evaluated and tested and proven that there is a God. Because there was, really be no atheists. Admit it to believing in a delusion. You decided to say that those who don't believe like you are delusional. Now that, my friends, is the real delusion. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, show your thoughts. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm George Lee. I'm Brock Lurie. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk with you next week.